Welcome back everybody and I am here to give you ultimate unboxing experience of the Prusa Core 1 without any delay, let's unbox it. Since this is ultimate unboxing experience, I want you guys to see everything. So here is the power cord, taking it slowly. Here is our printer testing protocol and all the check. Here is our tiny Haribo and this is the, this is the Core 1 PEI sheet. First things first, we have the oh, filament. Okay, wait, maybe I remove this one first. Shows me how to remove this thing. And here is the filament that comes with it. This is the filament. And this is my first time unboxing this with you guys. So I didn't unbox this before. And here is the USB stick. This is a sponge. This is the thing where I will lift it up with. Now this bad boy is on the table and I think these are the covers. Remove the sheet of it. Let's turn this. The box come out from this side, which is this box. But staying like this. Did I say how much I hate the card boxes? Look at the size of this card box. Taller than me. We'll cover the entire thing over. And what we are going to do next is open this one up. And there are some stuff we need to remove from inside. So this is the interior of the core one. We are going to take a look at it a little bit more closer in a minute. I think next I'm going to do is to insert this build plate. Core one. So I pull this box from the side over here. So we are going to uh, look what's inside this and attach whatever is left in there. They're like tools, obviously. Same tools if you already own one. Flyer, the multi-head wrenches and screwdriver. I'm going a little bit down in here because we are going to attach this LCD. All right. So you guys might remember Joseph explained this G28 home all everything and M84 if I remember correctly shutting down the motors and everything so end of the print and let's attach this screen it's going to be very simple this is the same as the XL so I think I'm going to do it this way okay and then I'm going to plug in this grounding cable and we're gonna slide these two grooves into those holes and slowly lower it down we're gonna look under this thing for the moment. This is the bottom of the printer. There the screen is. So I'm going to go there, pull it towards down and fasten that thing. Seems like this one is detaching, but let's relocate it. These are, I think, vibration sucking feeds. And, and there is one motor right in here for the Z axis, if I understand this correctly. We are going to focus on the top section of it before I continue opening it to remove the top cover. But my only problem is these things, these. Uh, so my only thing with this unboxing experience is these tiny pins not let go of the entire cover, right? It stays under it. And I don't think I can remove these. I don't wanna remove those. Can I remove those? Yeah, I can remove those, but I don't wanna break it, obviously. I zoomed in for you to show that thing, guys. I don't wanna deal with taking that one off. But anyway, not a problem, not a problem. I will deal with that one later, but let's continue the unboxing video. Okay. When I get a little bit closer over here, you guys can see that this is the filament tube over here that will go in. This is where we are going to load the filament. Right before I start running this machine, I want to make sure that you guys see everything. When we look at the back, here are the two ventilation units. Power supply is over here. Power button and the plug-in is in here. And we have the Wi-Fi section over here and the Ethernet port and NFC communication over there. Do I not have a Wi-Fi antenna? Does this one comes with an antenna? I don't see my antenna, but maybe it is. Let's connect it and run it and enjoy it. Right now I'm in front of the machine. Everything is plugged in. I'm gonna plug my USB in and then plug the power at the back. Power at the back. This is starting. Now it's um, updating the firmware. 
I think yours will not update it because of the USB stick I have as the new firmware. Alrighty, right now I'm going to set up the printer and I put a camera over there for you guys to see the screen. I hope the resolution is good. First we click on the English and we see the Joseph Fursa. It's gonna take out the steps. Run self-test and calibrations now, yes. Make sure the print sheet is enabled and installed, yes. Now it is testing some stuff. It is testing the fans. And it's noisy, especially the back fans. Now it's checking the axes and going back and forth inside the machine. I feel like it's hitting the glass, but it is not. It's just hitting to itself. So I did this unscripted, just like bare as is. That's why I call this the ultimate unboxing experience because I'm unboxing like you are going to unbox at home without reading anything. Okay, now it's asking me to touch the load cell. We are going to do that. I click continue and it's gonna say five, four, three, two, one. I touch now, which I did. Now it's going to do the Z axis test. It's going up. So now it's time to continue the filament. Is there a filament in the filament sensor? No. And I'm going to use this uh, really good or uh, purple color Galaxy PLA for this, which I did. And I'm going to insert it from the uh, PTFE tube all the way to the interior. Now it's calibrating, says do not remove, which is good. Done, calibrated. Good. Happy printing. Cool. We are going to look inside because there's light. I think this cable is a uh, camera or something like that. We are going to learn about this in the next video. I'm going to let you guys know. First thing first, we see three rods in here. This is the build plate. That's the back rod. Here is the other rod. And you can see the core one next to the over here. There's a fan at the very back that's coming all the way down here. You can see that one too. And here I think you can see the lights coming from the front. And on the top forward there are the ventilation fans. This is the first area where the filament is. This is the second area where the box that is empty that we can use, that you can use for doing a lot of stuff in there. Imagination is limitless and this is how it is. And at the top we have this vent that we can open and close. Since we are going to print mostly PLA, we are going to keep it open. Now, now we are ready to first start our first print, which I'm excited to do so. Okay, let's do the airless tennis ball. One thing is like when you release it from here, it just like booms. But this is not glass, so I'm not worried about that much. Getting started very soon. Ooh, smooth. It's like spaceship. I like this. Knight Rider, right now, Knight Rider style. Can we do this? Go back and back and forth, back and forth, left, right. That might be really cool. All right, the first print started. This is exciting. I will not record the rest one hour-ish with the print, but we might just go back here and record the rest of it. When the print is done, I will report back and we will end this video. It started printing the first layer. I'm trying to give you the ultimate unboxing experience. Like you are watching the first layer with me right in here and i think this is great let's see how things are gonna come out uh, right now i'm right behind the printer this is my microphone and this is how quiet the machine is this is the first layer it will open up the fan soon we will hear it in a moment as well thank you guys for watching i really appreciate you are here and watching this video i am really excited this is not scripted i didn't even read assembly manual or anything i just like directly did it and we have it in here and I am printing my first object with it. Now I'm going to read everything about this machine and make another video which is going to be published now-ish. So I will have two videos together published and there's going to be a horizontal version of this video and there's going to be a vertical version of the same video again. So you guys can take a look at both of them and watch it. If you guys like this video, don't forget to subscribe and click that thumbs up button. All the links that you need are in the description of this video and the link in the bio and everywhere. If you're watching this on YouTube, they are directly down there. And if you want to buy this machine with my affiliate links, they are also down below. And there's a code called 3D Printing Doctor, which will give you absolutely nothing, but it will help to track my sales affiliate marketing. So if you want to support 3d printing doctor don't forget to click and uh, put the 3d printing doctor code in that way we might have some uh, support to buy new filaments that might be cool thank you so much and now you can hear it is printing the extra layers it is not much of a difference when you think about it i like how quiet this machine is cool oh uh, yeah thank you guys and see you on the next video which is published now all right first print finished let's take it off ah 
sports came out good too and this is a tennis ball well first sprint down more to go